Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If they'll let Isaac. me, the space bar has started anyway. So we won win 86, win 86 last time, and we are due for an Isaac run this time. So I'm feeling pretty positive that we can get to win 87, but uh, you never know what could stand in our way. 9LN2FR9N. A surprisingly dif difficult seed for me to get out there, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine. I thought these were actually, my brain is fried from the NLSS we just recorded, or streamed, I guess. I thought these were gray champion grandfather flies, and I realized, mm, I think they're just old. I think they might just be aged, like a fine cheddar or an oka. Uh, French Canadian cheese. Produced by monks, I believe. <laughs> Sounds, what am I talking about? All of my good commentary muscles have already been eroded by the three hours of NLSS, so... Well, you can actually, it's, it sounds like a bad thing, but you can expect some uh, inanity. Inanity? Either way. Insanity is probably the word that I was actually originally looking for. Over the course of this video, you'll have, uh, you'll have a good time with that. Never fear. I hope, at least. And if not, you at least will find something to yell at me about. I'm confident. Maybe we've already missed a Tinted Rock. You never know when the, the Magical Mystery Tour is going to uh, make it stop on the Whirly Bird. What am I even talking about? Anyway, I'm, I'm forcing it now. Let's just relax a little bit. Last run... We didn't get uh, any good deals with the devil, but we still got super strong in spite of that, which is amazing. That doesn't happen all that much, so we should be very uh, pleased with the way that that went down. On this run, though, I'm hoping we get a little bit more traditional. Get some decent deal with the angel items, or sorry, deal with the devil items. I hope now that I've said the A word, I'm not cursed to deals with the angel. Although, let's remember that on the last episode, we actually did pick up... Uh, was that last? I think it was last episode we picked up uh, Sacred Heart from Pandora's box, something that very, very rarely happens. Not just uh, Sacred Heart, because obviously that would be rare given the size of the Angel Pool, but just a good item from uh, from Pandora's box on the Cathedral is pretty rare, but it worked out nicely for us. That is an interesting setup as well. Mmm, I'm gonna reroll it. Yeah, I much prefer Latchkey in this situation. Experimental treatment, not on the first floor, I would probably take, but I'm like, what if we get it doesn't, like, raise some stats and lower some stats. It could just as easily, um, you know, lower all your stats. Or raise all your stats, admittedly. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, relax a little bit. Probably will not go to the curse room as a result of just losing a heart and a half right there. That's an embarrassing degree of, uh, of damage to be taking. Unless this contains a red heart, maybe? Two keys? That's not really what I was looking for. We're gonna have a lot of keys. Yum heart. Well, now we'll, we'll probably go through with it now. Sucks that we really won't be able to do anything with that yum heart, but maybe that's exactly what we needed right now anyway to get another spirit heart back. Well, we got nothing to do on the rest of this floor. We might have been better off with experimental treatment than rerolling yum heart, but I'm I'm okay with this. And uh, in spite of my really poor play on that one, ooh, 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 in spite of my really poor play on that one room, we are still going to be able to uh, probably get a deal with the devil on the next floor. You know, we picked up an extra spirit heart out of that. Yeah, I think it's good enough. I'm feeling reasonably confident at least, but let's not throw. I, I threw pretty hard. That's, oh, there we go. That's what we want to do with that. There's also a one bomb for like six keys, sorry, six cents set up up there. Six cents actually more valuable than six keys for me right now. Uh, guillotine, I do like. There's obviously a risk associated with it, but I think the damage is worth it. And if we get one more bomb, two more bombs allows us to actually get the, uh, the tinted rock plus six cents, which is a really good deal, because we can probably buy another Tinted Rock on our shop as well, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's just uh, let's just move along here. I think I will go to our curse room. We can afford to, probably. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out, and I hate that I did that. I hate that I didn't nut up fast enough to, to make that work for myself, but uh, I think that this will this is the more conservative decision that is more likely to lead to not certain failures, so I'm, I'm okay with this. We'll go back in there if we get another bomb. Should've just walked through it. The worst thing that would've happened is we would've lost another, you know, half a Spirit Heart. Now we're gonna have to lose one full one just by going back in there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with it, you know? I've made my bed, time to lie in it. Let's do it! Um, I'll even reroll the key. What the heck do we have now? It looks like decent rate of fire. We did reroll into a bomb, which is pretty much what I was looking for. Uh, and that's now a really great trinket. Store credit, we can use that right away to buy pretty much whatever we want. We did lose the D6, though. 
But I gotta admit, our damage seems pretty good. Do we get Cat of Nine Tails? Is that what's going on here? We're probably early enough that I could use the stat screen. Stigmata and Steven. And then, of course, Mystery Sack and uh, Little Gish. I don't think all the items were listed there. You know, the item screen is not 100% reliable. Steven is such a rare uh, drop. This is weird, but I kind of enjoy it. We should still have a deal with the devil, but I have no idea because uh, the... What is making our... It must be Stigmata that makes our face look like this. But um, the uh, deal with the devil precedent always gets... Or has a tendency at least to get a little bit fudged up by the dice room. I'm happy that we got a dice room early because, you know, we were, we were in a pretty good spot. But this is probably better. And, you know, mostly it's just hard for it to go completely off the rails on an early dice reroll. It usually happens later. More bombs, a black heart, and brimstone. We will absolutely take it. Gonna be mad? It's been a while since we had it. It's fallen a little bit on deaf ears, I gotta admit. So hopefully we can go to our shop, get a half-decent uh, space bar item. Looking like Boss Rush might be in the cards for us here, but it's a little too early to count our chickens. Because these are the same pill, I'm interested in checking them out. Because if they're both good, we get the benefit. If they're both bad, well, we only get the, the loss of one, as I've talked about many a time. So, uh, let's bomb this open. And that's quite a lot of money. We're going to get 12 cents for pretty cheap uh, bomb costs here. We are going to come back in here. Uh, that got re-rolled into a single... Yeah, right. I was thinking about this. Why did this happen? Because of the six room. It re-rolls everything. So we re-rolled the red chest into a red heart. That's not a very good deal. Also re-rolled all the stuff over here. But it seemed to make it probably better for me. And actually, we could use Hangman here to save a bomb. So I feel like we probably should but we're gonna do this as well and that's pretty good we still have store credit so whatever we buy in here first will be free if we want it to be do we I don't really want the boomerang to be honest with you I don't really want anything in here I think we'll save store credit for later yeah this is it's good it's very good I, I'm, I'm not trying to make it sound like it's not very good like I'm under enthusiastic what I'm trying to do is just parse what the hell is going on. Uh, we got Brimstone. Our HP is fine. I think our damage improved. We've got a lot of great consum. <laughs> what happened there? A lot of great consum. A lot of great consum. A lot of great consumables and also good utility items. Anyway, this. Uh, I mean, with Brimstone alone, if our chances of winning were already, you know, like 90%, they're substantially higher. Probably as a result of this, two of Spades, pretty good. Here, Font, really good. Uh, Two of the best card drops that you can get, for sure. Hopefully, we uh, just have the ability to kind of ball out of control with respect to our deals with the devil on this run. So far, so good. One deal for Brimstone on the first floor is, is almost as good as it gets, starring Greg Kinnear, Jack Nicholson, and Helen Hunt. Classic, classic film. One of the best dog-related movies of the late 90s, in my opinion. Not to get too specific. Man, there were a lot of dog-related movies of the late 90s, man. You got Homeward Bound, Homeward Bound 2, Beethoven, Beethoven 2nd, 3rd, etc, etc, Balto, Snow Dogs, of course as good as it gets, a, a little bit more of the mature uh, film, it tackles some uh, difficult themes, but Lady and the Tramp, I could keep going if you want, you want me to? Maybe I will then, yo don't ever shoot that shit at me, okay? I thought we had a, a relationship based on mutual respect, and then you're taking a pot shot like that at me. Leo. His name is Leo, and he's dancing on the rocks. Really, though. Dancing on the rocks is my drink. Um, in, in, inspired by Ted dancing, of course. Not on Cheers, no. It's a common misconception because he played a bartender. You assume that the alcoholic beverage is going to be based on the television show Cheers. No, it's based on his... Um, Slightly less lauded, but no less impressive turn as uh, Dr. Jason Becker on the television show of the same name, Becker. And uh, it is it is a shot of formaldehyde served without ice. It's called on the rocks because, you know, you're going to be on the rocks after. One shot, old, it'll get you. Why don't we buy this for free? Nine volt. I, I mean, it's fine. It's, it doesn't immediately do anything for us, but that's okay. I don't think we really need to buy a... Uh, a spirit heart in there. I think we're f fine as far as spirit hearts go. I did just walk on that creep, which broke my brain temporarily. I'm going to try to keep up a pretty good pace here, because I think it's conceivable that we get enough damage to make boss rush uh, pop.
possible, and not just possible to get to, but possible to do as well. So we'll um, skip a couple of rooms, but we did go item room and shop here. My hope, of course, is that, uh, well, that did not work out. What I was going to say, what my hope is, is that we'll get to our uh, deal with the devil here, but it did not come to pass. Okay, now to the next floor. Now we've probably got like a minute head start, so we can take a little time to relax and start really, you know, farming up the arcade if there is one here. We've got almost exactly a minute by my by my traditional standards. Let's double it up. You going to make me reroll my run again? Thank you for not. I appreciate it. But if you had done it, I would have done it as well. So we got no doubt that we have... Uh, the ability to buy a couple of things from our shop if we want to. I'm gonna be a little a little risky there. It's good to know. Not immediately good to have, but good to know. And when it comes to that judgment, I actually am pretty interested in playing that judgment, maybe snagging a, a mapping item or some HP, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You know, we don't have to we don't have to do anything rash here. See what goes on in our boss fight first. I could blow up the judgment, but I kind of want to. I want to give the game a chance to give me a deal with the devil first, because I'd really like to play the judgment and get HP, get you know, have my cake and eat it too, basically. If it's Krampus, it's Krampus. That's fine, you know. Red chests, I think, are actually the worst outcome between that and Krampus, and especially when they contain nothing of value whatsoever. In particular, they tend to be bad in that case, I'd say. So I'll probably play you now. I'm thinking this is our second secret room right here. No? Okay. I mean, I was just thinking it. It's actually inconvenient to crush all these rocks. Usually you can just wedge yourself back in here. I can take my hand off my keyboard. You know, one hand in my pocket and the other one making a peace sign. I can do pretty much whatever I wanted. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury anymore, but that's all right. We got our free HP upgrade. And by free, I mean literally it cost us money, but it didn't cost us HP, so... You know, freedom freedom means different things to different people, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Freedom isn't free. We all got to pay our buck oh five. I, for some reason, thought I could get in there. That's probably our secret room. Uh, okay. Not batting very well there. Less of a Tony Gwynn, more of a um, Tony the Tiger right now. I think Tony the Tiger might actually be the nickname of famed baseball manager Tony La Russa, in which case I meant no offense. I meant the, the serial mascot in case there was some confusion in my diction. If I was looking for any item on this run, it's really at this point... Spoonbender is like... I feel bad because I'm always like piercing shot Spoonbender, piercing shot Spoonbender, but Spoonbender is like... It's the beam weapon coup if you get a synergy with it. You know, not a bird type, but like not to bring up the St. Louis Cardinals again. But, uh, like, C-O-U-P, it's, it's so useful. I don't know how this affects it, so I will try it. I'm going to assume that it changes it not at all. Which might seem like a bold assumption, but actually that is the way that it appears to be working right now. Which is fine, you know, we don't have a reroll or anything like that, so we don't have to, we don't have to sweat it. That's probably our secret room. Usually this is actually a, yeah, it's, it's a template. Or a pro, uh, prototype. Archetype, that's what I'm going for. It's some kind of type, but it wasn't the type. It was the type that you see in books, not the type so much that you see in uh, video games. Or Andre 3000 albums. I'm going to take starter deck. I have seen some people getting bent out of shape. They say, oh, see? Like, all you guys complaining about the stopwatch has made it so Northern Line doesn't take the stopwatch. It's not true, actually. i got a good feeling about this. Hey, that's awesome. Um, I don't take the stopwatch because I think the stopwatch makes for kind of a boring run. It takes all the tension out. And then you're going to, oh, not the Brimstone doesn't, you know? Okay, I mean, you got a point, but Brimstone's kind of fun to watch. The stopwatch requires, like, very, very little skill to use. I just, it, it's an item that, you know, respect my personal preferences. I don't like it that much. If it was a lost run, I would take it in a heartbeat and feel very, very satisfied in doing so. If we're not doing a lost run, what do I care? Uh, we're, we're already in a, a solid spot. And I find that it makes things a little samey. Makes the rest of the run a little, a little simple. So, we'll leave this floor. We haven't really improved ourselves drastically, but the HP is nice. You know, we got three HP ups on that floor, technically, if you include the Eternal Heart. Um... And starter deck. Starter deck's nice. There's nothing wrong with that. Certainly with two world cards and two floors left, I would be expecting to have a... Excuse me. I'd be expecting to have a pretty good chance to get to our boss rush room. 
I think I'm better. I'm gonna go to the secret room, but I think I'm better off like using a key to get into our item room, especially now. Super bandage, totally fine. Uh, HP is getting to the point where definitely I don't want to take any more, but uh, we should be okay here if we just bomb this through and maybe come straight down to the shop afterwards. We might have enough. M uh, we won't have enough money. Maybe with um, counterfeit penny we can make it happen. Actually, now that I think about it, we're getting pretty close to the end. This has just been a much faster run than we've been used to lately. If possible, I should stack up a little bit of cash and donate, but we haven't really stolen from our donation machine on this run either, so I'm not going to sweat it that much. Pills. Pills are going to be cards, so I will, I'll will do it. What are we at? 290? That's pretty good. Hear a font? Just pop it. Hear a font? We'll just pop it. Magician? Sun. Take the sun card, sun world. Yeah, that's okay. That was stupid of me. I should have probably taken one Hierophant card with me, but I don't know. The The Sun card seems like... I, I've been keeping it, like, behind my back as, like, one, you know, trump card, basically, to co come out with if things get super tough on the run. We haven't had it happen yet. That's definitely what we want, even with starter deck. Um, but in the future, it may happen. Come on. Give me a deal with the devil here. We're going so quickly, I feel like maybe I've missed out on a lot of opportunities. You know, we're like a college athlete or something like that. We haven't had the typical high school or college experience. Now, most people would probably trade places with us in a heartbeat, considering we have brimstone and good damage. And it's going to get a little bit better there. But you can't argue, you know, it would still be nice to, to get a little bit of both worlds. Now, we got tons of time on this floor. Curse of the Lost means that the world is useless. That sounded much direer than I meant it to. Um, but what I what I do have going for us here is because I skipped a lot of rooms and people are gonna Definitely take issue with that, but because I skipped so many rooms We have enough time here to not have to worry about curse of the lost at all now I, I don't really if possible want to do boss rush I think we're in a good position damage wise, but probably I would prefer to just steal one item rather than fight for two Of course, that's the the normal way that you would probably want to do it, but It is true in this case as well I believe. Good. Decent. Mm, sorry about that one. That was a little gish, which by proxy is me. Guppy's Collar at least uh, gives us a, a roundabout chance of the Guppy Dream, although we've got to admit that it's pretty unlikely. In a way, I'm actually glad that we get to keep our, our world card. Sure, that's actually pretty good as well. I'm glad we get to keep our world card so that we can... Uh, you know, use it somewhere on the womb and speed things up down there a little bit. We'll blow up as many of these as we can, conceivably, in order to give ourselves a pretty good shot. Ooh, almost got it. Pretty good shot of getting a, a teleportation card, and then we can take whatever two cards we want and have left over to, uh, with us here. And this is working out pretty well. All right. This is our first moment of truth. We don't need anything on this run, but it would be nice to get some more damage. Firemind is... Why, why didn't I just walk over the skulls? I will never, ever get to the point where I recognize all the items that I have at my disposal at any given opportunity. So, that's on me, but at the same time, it's... I've learned to live with it, you know? Very slightly affecting dullness and mental acuity has not... Uh, it's still allowed me to lead a relatively normal life here. Of course, I'm not allowed to wander outside by myself, but that's just, um, that's just par for the course. Steam sale, not very worthwhile for us. I think we're not going to play our donation machine anymore. I did, I, I played our donation machine to try to get as much money as possible for our, um, for our shop. So we could donate to our donation machine. And of course, in the end, that ended up being for not, but that's okay. Let's go fight mom, I guess. We're, we're pretty much done. We did item room. We did shop. We don't know. Maybe there's another special room on this floor, but... With Curse of the Lost, I don't really like to, to backtrack too much because it's super annoying. But I recognize there will be people who play this run differently. Do we, we don't have Curse of the Blind here. No, we have Curse of the Lost, right, of course. Um, so we'll look at our, uh, at our boss rush items. And if there's a good one, like a great one, we'll fight for it. Otherwise, we'll probably just head down. Brimstone Tiny Planet is pretty cool. We'll give it a shot. And if it goes like, if it looks like it's going sour, we've got um, we got the sun card to bail us out. I'll admit it's not, ooh, it's not as much damage as I like to have on a boss rush run. 
But this might be a good test. And I gotta admit, anytime I put myself in a difficult situation like this, I'm like, yes, it would be very fitting if I fucked it up. <laughs> if I put myself in a position where I lose and it was completely preventable. It's not inconceivable, it can happen very easily. Why did I take... And I guess that's the other thing that's great here, is that Tiny Planet is like a complete cosmetic choice for us, but... Still, I think we'll be okay. We have this Sun card, I really don't want to use it. But we do have it for future use, should it be necessary. How is it possible that we have a Brimstone Laser that is still... Well, I know how it's possible. It's a rhetorical question. I'm saying I'm surprised it's possible that we have a brimstone laser that's doing uh, such relatively poor damage. But I'm I'm aware of how it can happen. You don't need to lecture me on that. Do we get more damage if we're super close? Do we get more damage if we're super close and uh, hit with like all aspects of the tiny planet brimstone? Like we hit with two different parts of the laser at once? I have to imagine we would get more damage, like with if you get a triple shot or something like that, you do more damage with it. I'm assuming. If you hit with like two phases of the laser, and, but that might be like hard coded for for triple shot and, and whatnot. Lucky dodge. Okie dokie, uh, another lucky dodge soon after. We're gonna be fine here. Again, it's it's a numbers game to some extent. The longer we can go without using the sun card, the greater our chances become, until eventually they reach a point where it, it, it's pretty much unlosable. What the heck? Where did you come from? Like, if we take this sun card into the blue baby fight, it's not gonna be easily lost. What is going on over here? You still going? Gotta keep moving, just in case he executes another one of those, you know, globe-spanning jumps there. Oh, my nose is so fucking itchy! Oh my god. Okay, let's get that off the screen. Look, I'll be the first to admit, dumb damage and me being here might be dumb. Sad bombs might have even been the better choice of item as well. You know, I'm not going to dispute that. But we're in this situation now. Let's learn to live with it in its own way. It's a bit of a weird commitment to absurdity. I want to keep as many spirit arts as possible, for obvious reasons, but one of those reasons that is maybe not so obvious is so that we have a better chance at a deal with the devil on the next floor. We have, we've only had, like, the one deal work out for us. It's been a great deal. But still, there is pretty much no excuse for a loss with uh, Cancer plus Brimstone, by the way. So, if I do end up somehow losing this run because of my own idiocy, I'll be very disappointed. But at the same time, I gotta say, Feels good to have some tension again, you know? It's been a little while. I've had a lot of runs with, with very little tension lately, so to to be forced into the... Well, not forced. To, to force myself into this position is... Uh, it's a little bit enlivening, which is a word you don't get an opportunity to use too often, but it's nice, isn't it? Try it. Enlivening. Try it on for size. This pizza. How do you feel about your macaroni and cheese, uh, Sarah? Positively enlivening, mother. Sarah, where you been using? Where you been learning those hoity-toity words? You been watching Northern Lion on the YouTube again? No, mother. Don't be a fuckboy, mother. Okay, that's just on call for. Don't call your parents a fuckboy. Not even if they like it. If they like that, you should talk to somebody and be like, "Yo, my parents are weird." Okay, we're very, very nearly done here. We're gonna keep at least a few spirit hearts going with us. It's time to talk about the um, the unspoken positive of the fact that we're doing boss rush here, which is, of course, the fact that uh, we're going to get another item back from it. I really thought that you'd be dead. Oh, you know what happened? Yeah, the heart must have uh, killed itself on the on the red poop, which is why I was like, I'm focusing this guy. Why is he not dead yet? Because the, the health bar had been artificially deflated by the, the heart dying so early. Oh, close. Okay. Pestilence. Oh, no. War and death. We've already killed Pestilence, of course. Mere seconds ago. It's alright. Life is fantastic, as long as they're all in the same general area. We are very slow. Like, I'll be the first to admit. My slowness is uh, contributing negatively to my chances of being able to keep these spirit hearts. There we go. We got him killed. Only got one more phase to go here. Even half a spirit heart goes a long way on the next floor. Don't get hit. 
It's gonna be hard, you know? The, the speed is like a real negative. Ooh, thank Gish! Gish with the freaking clutch bomb placement there. Very much appreciated. You're dead, you're dead. We're fine. Scapular, good item. Was it worth the <laughs> the time and the risk? Probably not, no. All right, so we uh, we head down to the next floor. We've got world card, we got sun card, we play it cool. It's good stuff, <laughs> potentially. Let's uh, make sure that we're blowing up all the rocks we can blow up that are not gonna blow up in our face, in turn. And again, the brimstone damage is not that strong right now. You know, I am gonna use a world card. So I can self-direct myself here into a position of betterness. Might as well walk over as many of the rocks as possible. It's been a sloppy run so far. Get a chance to get some extra red hearts. It's, it's all worth it, man. Made a mistake here. Should not have baited uh, all of them at once. Starting to learn that that's probably the wrong way to tackle that room. Too slow. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Probably, I was just some nervous that we're gonna, you know, throw the whole run. But um, we did screw over our deal with the devil chances a little bit. It's all right. We still got the sun card. I know what people are saying right now. They're saying, "Can you believe this? Can you believe that this might happen here?" I believe it. But it's okay. We got a that's an algae's rune, a full health card, which doesn't exist. Well, I guess the sun exists. High priestess. To his spades. Might as well pop that right away. Emperor card. Emperor's son is a good <gasps> combination. We have to use the Emperor card right away. Unless this is... Sorry, Sun card right away. Passage. Okay, I'm using the Sun. I don't like that I did it, but I think it had to be done. I'm gonna use the Awaz rune. Just to see. We got a High Priestess Emperor. Very poor, uh... Very poor use of resources on my part. Let's just call it what it is. And this is actually the first time in a little while I've been genuinely nervous about, you know, the potential losses uh, resulting here. But we do have Brimstone good HP. We got an Emperor card, which we'll probably use in the Cathedral. We got a High Priestess card, we'll probably use it on whatever this boss is. Ooh, two of diamonds. Not really as useful as to warrant the ooh, but you get the idea. Mystery? Yeah, that was Mystery Sack, okay. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Gotta bait those guys a little bit. Hopefully uh, an obvious second secret room right here. Nope, uh, I do wanna see what this is. Emperor, High Priestess, Hermit. Uh, not, not as useful, so let's take High Priestess in with us. Mr. Fred is annoying. Uh, yeah, that does no damage to him because he was in the middle of an attack animation, which seems pretty legit to me. Just gonna stand as far back as we can. At this point, we've actually reached like the situation that I was very scared of, which is we pretty much cannot afford to take damage because every little bit of damage that we're taking reflects not only very poorly on us, but uh, may never come back to help us. You know, we uh, we may never get more spirit hearts or red hearts dropped here. No deal with the devil, but a damage upgrade, speed as well, or range. Speed plus damage. We needed a speed upgrade, so this is actually pretty huge. We'll head down to the next floor. One sun card away from regaining our confidence. Admittedly, it's tempting to use the Emperor card, but can't justify it. I will use two keys here, and we'll we'll call it like we see it. I'll open it for sure. Good. Very, very good. We only had one bomb until we opened that, but still worth it. And, uh, hmm. It's okay. The extra spirit hearts are very, very helpful, probably. I did leave one penny behind. That's You leave the penny behind and then it grows more pennies in the future. It's just very common botany. I'm surprised that you even asked. Yeah, very stupid of me there. Really hope the fire... Yeah, okay, thank you. We do have the strength card. Strength card is very useful. You, you can tell that I'm scared based on the fact that I'm saying the strength card is very useful, whereas most of the time I'm like, ugh, strength card. But it actually is uh, pretty valuable for us, potentially in this situation. Uh, we can maybe use this against Isaac, or we could save it for the chest. Whatever gives us the best chance of coming through on the other side, you know, totally clean, I think is 
what we got to roll with here. This is my ideal room as far as I'm concerned right now. This really took a took a turn for the worse after that boss rush room, eh? Maybe I should take that as a sign that boss rush is maybe not as important as uh, I have been led leading myself to believe, really. Nobody else has really led me to believe it. Now, don't get trapped in the corners here. That's okay. Just don't get trapped in the corners. Got a half red heart we can always draw on if we need to. Lots of red hearts we can draw on if we need to, actually. One and a half. Oh, wait. Three and a half. Almost, we're almost at a full Fellini there. Not a reference I'd probably expect. Um, we we should go in here, because we can. And we have the HP, and we got a guppy. Nope, we got a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of spiders. Trying to maintain some half-heartedness here. Really, really surprising to me how somehow I have found myself in a semi-tricky spot with Cancer Trinket Brimstone. Best advice I can give you, I'm trapped in the middle of my own cautionary tale. Keep it slow. Keep it slow, keep it simple. You know, boss rush is not worth it. This is almost a cautionary tale in, in action right now. And the, the real scary part is that it's unlikely that I get any more HP back. <laughs> like, it's, it's it's unlikely we get any anything to save us, basically. You know, the items uh, are not going to show up until the chest. Once we get to the chest, all is either going to be forgiven or completely fucked. I will say, I think we're probably fine for HP for Isaac. And damage for Isaac. So, what I may do, and this might be one way to pull us out of this um, seeming mess here is I may not use the Emperor card to skip the Cathedral and just do the Cathedral and save it for the chest instead. Oh, thank you. We're gonna take that up with us. I may not, like I may go back on that promise there. And there's, there's a strong argument to both sides. I mean, the argument for the one is, you know, we can skip all of the chest and if we have good HP going down to the chest, then we just immediately fight Blue Baby. But what if we don't have good HP going down to the chest? Thank you for killing your friend. That's not how the Golden Girls theme song goes, and I am loath to say it, but I can't muster the enthusiasm to sing the Golden Girls theme song right now. I, maybe I can, but you know, we'll, we'll talk about it maybe after this boss fight is over. I don't wanna forsake the good name of the Golden Girls. Very dumb damage, but we're through the mom's hard fight. Game only gets harder from here. So what do we do? Well, we should take the black heart. But first, let's go back and get some of this HP. There's enough HP left behind that I should not be too concerned about this, I guess. Secret room? No. I'm looking for something to make my decision for me, basically, but we have not uh, come across it. Don't really want to do any more rooms. Did we check? Yeah, we definitely checked there for the secret room. And there and there. Hmm. Okay. I don't really want to do the boss trap room, but it, it might be beneficial. I'd rather do more rooms on the cathedral than more rooms on the chest. There's no question about it. And what if we get, if we get stuck on a shit room on the chest, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we can't bomb our way out. If we get stuck in a shit room on the cathedral, we have four bombs. We can get out of there. But, you know, Brimstone is already good against those shit rooms, like the, the envy rooms and stuff like that. Okay. Up to the cathedral. Not going to use my uh, Emperor card unless we find ourselves in a truly, truly delicate situation. Please no. This also gives me a chance to find Tinted Rocks. Um, tinted Rocks... I hate this guy. We could bomb our way out, but... Tinted Rocks do not show up on the chest. So to have the ability to get those here is actually extremely beneficial. And really, I'm thinking that we're in the territory where, like, one HP coming back from a, a Tinted Rock would probably pay for the damage we take on the floor, hopefully. I mean, I might be counting my chickens a little bit, but you get the idea. I think we we were in, like, we were flying a jetliner, and then one of the engines went out, and we panicked. We said everybody's going to die, and, you know, we said our prayers and, and stuff like that. But... Oh, come on with that, though. Now we find ourselves in a situation where you're like, you know what? The tailspin is not, um... It's not unrecoverable. 
Probably want to go without taking like seven damage on that room though. Let's check for our secret room. This is why we have bombs. And I, as much as I, again, am loath to mention it, we have Guppy's hairball. <laughs> all is not lost, even if all is lost. But I would really rather not rely on that. Can't get in there because we don't have full HP. You're dropping a card for me, so please be good. Every hit is potentially a run ender at this point. I'm embarrassed that it has come to this point. Judgment. Ooh, almost walked right into you there, bud. Rules card. Chub dislikes smoke. What a roundabout way for the game to say, go fuck yourself. I am, I, I shouldn't sound so salty, because I'm super stoked that we got uh, small rock. Of course, I would have preferred maybe some spirit hearts instead. We just, did just get one there, even though I ruined my scapular placement. But um, hopefully we'll get a chance to rectify that. Um, but I'm super happy we got... Uh, we got small rock. It's, it's an enormous help. I can't muster any negativity about it. Even if it might seem like I already have. No, the, the extra damage from that is extremely important. Wheel of Fortune Emperor. Do you think I, I think the Wheel of Fortune probably does beat the strength card for its ability to give us one more item. And also maybe some hearts along the way, but I guess we're gonna find out relatively soon. I didn't anticipate having to do the entirety of the cathedral. That being said, it might not be the worst thing in the world. We're, we're pretty close to closing in on full HP. Probably find our second or secret room, sorry. That was a very dumb placement. That was uh, better, but it should have never been put in that position in the first place. Thank God for Little Gish. Can we get a hand for Little Gish here? We would have taken so much more damage were it not for the fact that Little Gish is being a nice dude and uh, making sure that enemies can't always get to us. That's another full red heart. I'm starting to gain momentum back. I'm feeling like I'm getting my groove back a little bit here. Now, most important thing, our damage is actually fairly good now. Let's not fuck it up by taking a bunch of damage to Isaac. In fact, let's not fuck it up. Let's take no damage against Isaac. If we can do this, I will have a lot of faith. And I will probably just... Oh, shit. <laughs> probably just immediately go to our boss fight on the next floor. Depends on what our items are, though. There are not many versions of the chest where it's better to do all rooms. And if there are, I don't know if we have the items that are prerequisites for those conditions. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> we should be fine. I, You'll forgive me, probably, but I'm going to be a little coy for a little bit here, you know? Just, like, not, uh, not talk too much. Focus. This would be an extremely poor run to lose on. I'm very surprised by how much tension there is in this one, to be honest with you. I wouldn't have expected it. If you told me Isaac plus Brimstone early on was going to lead to this, I would have said, I'm surprised by your assessment of things. We're going to head down to the next floor. I'm not, not confident of where the second secret room is going to be. And then we're going to finish this off uh, one way or the other. Chest. One, not great. Interesting. Oh, come on, you motherfucker. We're gonna place Wheel of Fortune. Use it a couple times. I can't re-roll this run. I'm I'm so sorry for it, but I can't. Empress is pretty good. Now if it blows up itself, we don't get an item, so we gotta be smart about it. I might as well blow it up now. Chocolate Milk Brimstone does nothing! It does nothing! I'm doing rooms because I'm like, you know, if it's an easy room, we might as well do it for the chance to get a consumable. Oh, or maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we really shouldn't. Secret room? Oh, Jesus. Um, we only have one bomb. Please. I command the liberty cap. I... I think I've got to re-roll the run to try to give myself a better 
a better bit of damage, even though it's going to lose us Brimstone. So we have a lot more HP. I think it's worth going like one room to see how, how our damage looks. We got like technology or something going on with us here. So the damage seems like pretty shitty, but we're very fast. I think this might be our run. We also got some kind of like sad bomb action going there. Is that what's happening? I don't know. We got some, you know, Doritos triangles shooting out of us. I think I, I can take a sigh of relief here. I think we're fine. Um, but certainly, I, you know, honestly, this one comes down to D4 basically saving our ass. If it were not for that clutch D4 pickup, I'm sorry, by the way, that when the D4 showed up, I was like, you know what? I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of Brimstone. I was mistaken. It was definitely the right play. I rerolled a low HP and a high HP. Even though our damage is, is pretty shitty, all things considered, it's not that much worse than what we were already rolling with. We don't have any bombs left. That's okay. Yeah, just, just play it cool here. We should be piloting this round to victory, but... Uh, Certainly, that run reeks of wasted potential. I don't know what I did wrong to... I don't know what exactly I did wrong. Just maybe a lackadaisical attitude to the play in general. But uh, we're going to make it out of here just fine. And uh, come back with an Eden run. I don't know if I want to do the Eden run right now. Because I'm feeling like my performance is quite poor. But... Well, you know what? We, just, we did just get hit twice there. So let's not count our chickens yet. We have no respawns. I just checked the, the life counter quickly. But it looks like we're going to be fine. Uh, sincerely, an enormous thank you is owed to the D4 here. If not for the D4, we would probably be dead. Instead, we're going to be moving on to 87 wins. Well, that was uh, that was not scary at all. I was not scared. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.